Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. So today I want to share with you another DIY room decor room decorating video. Today I created two mirrored pedestals for you and they came out absolutely beautiful. A lot of the items I use I did pick up from Michaels. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click that notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload a new video. And to all my old subscribers coming through to watch another video, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate your support and I appreciate the comments that you leave. Thank you so much. So guys, if you are interested in how I created these two items, just keep watching. First, I'm going to go through some of the things that I picked up from Michaels. I got these two tea light candlestick holders. These are the faceted ones. These are really nice guys. I'm going to use two hexagon mirrors, two tapered candlestick holders. I'm going to be using these self-adhesive gems, those pearls in the clear. And I'm also going to be using the pearl. They're both self-adhesive and I picked that up from Michaels. The E6000, I'm going to use that small one today. I got that from Amazon. So before I get started, I'm just going to clean off all the glass and the mirror. So first, I'm going to take some E6000. I'm going to apply it to the edge of the candlestick holder. After that, I'm just going to turn it upside down. I'm going to apply it to the bottom of the tea light candle holder. So I'm going to have the faceted end at the bottom. It's going to be the base. After I hear that, I'm going to use a bag of coins just to create a little weight and I'm going to let that sit for three hours. Now technically you need to let these items sit for 24 hours when you're using E6000. So right now my mirror is covered guys to protect the mirror and not to uh, flash you guys out with all the lights that I have on. And I'm just going to peel off that label. After that I'm going to clean all the fingerprints and any oils off the back of the mirror. I'm going to apply a little E6000 to the candlestick base. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to attach it to the center of the mirror. And after I finish doing this one guys, I'm going to create another one but I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to let them both set for 12 hours. So guys, it's the next day and it's been a little more than 12 hours and I just want to show you that everything is adhered and it's set very nicely. So right now I'm just going to use some of these gems that I picked up from Michaels and I've already started this project guys. I forgot to turn the camera on, but what I'm doing here is I'm removing the sticky part that's already been applied to it. It comes with that on it. It really doesn't make the mirror look nicer with it. So I'm just going to remove those. I'm just going to apply a little bit of hot glue and that's the way I'm going to attach it. So I'm just going to alternate the pattern as you can already see. And I'm sorry I didn't uh, get that bit for you guys, but this is basically what I'm doing. I'm just alternating the pearl gems with the clear gems. And I removed all of the sticky appliques off of all the gems. And guys, this is what that looks like. This came out really, really, really nice. And look at the base. The faceted base is so beautiful on this. So right now, I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm just going to clear off the edge of the mirror with the cleansing cloth. And I'm going to apply the pearls. 
I'm going to apply them in alternating sizes, the large one, then the small one, and then the large one, and that's the pattern that I'm going to do all the way around the mirror. And this is what that looks like guys. They both came out really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna show you the final project. I'm gonna show you these items set up with some items that I've made. And as you can see, they look absolutely beautiful with a lot of the items that I've already created. And uh, yeah guys, so you let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd be very, very happy to hear from you. And uh, I wanna thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Guys, please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining me guys. Stay blessed and I'll see you at the next video. Bye bye.